Hello, my name is Gerhard Adam, and in this set of modules we will introduce the mainframe environment. Specifically, this is the IBM System Z EC12 processor and the ZOS operating system. In this first module, we will introduce the System Z hardware so that you can become familiar with what a System Z processor is, its features, and its capabilities. We will also discuss the disk systems, which are referred to by the acronym DASD, or Direct Access Storage Devices. We will finish this unit in talking about the role of tape technology and miscellaneous external connections with which the System Z processor can interface. So, why should we concern ourselves with the hardware or the architecture of these systems? In part, we need to understand this since it is the systems programmer that will be making configuration choices for the organization. In addition, these are expensive systems that require accurate planning for the required capacity and tuning to optimize the use of these systems for the work being run. Software monitors run that collect data about the system's behavior, and it is only by understanding how the system is architected that we can maximize our use of that system by making good configuration choices. However, in the following slides there will be a fair amount of technical information provided, but a detailed treatment of these topics is outside the scope of what we want to accomplish here. The purpose in this module is to introduce you to the concepts and architecture so that you can more readily see the types of technology being used in the mainframe environment. To highlight some of this information, we will be looking at some screen captures from a ZOS performance monitoring tool to illustrate some of these concepts. To many people, talk of the mainframe conjures up images from the 60s and 70s where a computer is represented as spinning tapes and a computer panel with blinking lights. As shown in these pictures, you will often see an operator seated watching the system, as well as other personnel responsible for managing tapes and printers. In today's environments, the computers, as with all technology, have become considerably smaller and don't reflect the sprawling data centers of the past. Processors may be air-cooled or water-cooled with approximately a 6 by 6 footprint. The variations in these measurements are due to various hardware features that a customer may elect to have on their systems regarding cabling requirements. Similarly, disk technology employs RAID, or the redundant array of independent disks, holding billions and billions of bytes of data, as well as tape libraries featuring fully robotic controls for locating and mounting tape cartridges. Data center operations have also become increasingly sophisticated as the number of systems and elements that need to be monitored and controlled has increased. In addition to monitoring system messages, operators may also have screens that interface with performance monitors and network monitors to detect problems before they can impact the data center. In this view, the operators can be seen looking at several screens from several ZOS systems. These consoles allow operators to see the status of running work as well as monitor the system for problems.